welcome back. So I know I made a video a few videos ago that said largest custom ever. Well, we're making a larger one. So we are working on a 30 by 50 family anniversary sign. So just FYI, fifth anniversary gifts are wood. So one, if you are a woodworker, that is a great market to be in um, or to promote fifth anniversary gifts, um, which I didn't know that until I got this request and looked it up. So just something to look out for now is fifth anniversary gifts could be in your market. Um, but anyway, so it is a family portrait. Um, it is a beach scene, which is where they got engaged. It has a lighthouse, their family, um, the beach, the sky, all the things. So I am working through that. I have the backer cut and the family portraits cut on the laser. I was going to do it on the scroll saw because it was so large, but I was really worried about when I was painting, getting all the proportions correct. Um, and I felt like I knew the easiest way was to do it on the laser, but it was so large for my Glowforge, I wasn't 100% how to do it, but I finally figured it out. Um, just took me a couple tries slash redrawing it a little bit, but I'll show you guys the uh, portrait that is most finished. Um, so this is the gentleman here. Um, so you can see this is all just flat like MDF, but the way I've painted it just creates like that 3D look. Um, and I have to finish like his beard and lips and all that good stuff. But um, I had to cut each person individually to get them to like fit in to each other and fit my laser size. So that is what we're working on this week. And then I also am doing a wedding mosaic with 3D name and painted florals. Again, a lot of hand painting this week, which I love to do. So I'm excited for that. But she loved the large custom wedding sign that I made the video on with the 3D flowers, but she also loved my hand painting. So we did a settle on the two and it's gonna be a similar design to the florals in our last video, but it's gonna be all hand painted. So mosaic is finished for that, so I'm gonna cut it down today and bring it up to start painting. I'm gonna take you guys through the shop this week. Yesterday was Columbus Day. I worked the first half of the morning. Jake was off. Um, worked the first half of the morning in the shop, finished up the mosaic, got it attached, but the second half of the day we worked on the house and started cleaning up things and organizing. So I didn't film because I didn't get to do much to be honest other than spray painting and attaching which is kind of boring. But I'm going to take you guys through the rest of the week and these large projects. So let's go to the shop. Look. All right. So this is the mosaic. I'm gonna set my little chair here. Um, so like I said, it's like all natty, um, natural lath, and then these were just um, some sustainable pieces. The biggest thing for me when doing the 3D names is like it all has to be pretty level um, because if we start doing mosaics with like a lot of raised pieces, the names don't really have anything to hold on to. Um, and this wasn't a piece that included like an acrylic standoff or anything like that. So um, I just had to make sure like everything was pretty level, which it is. So I shouldn't have any problems getting the name attached. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna cut the edges off with our track saw and then um, take it upstairs to kind of sketch out the flowers that we need to get painted on this. So I'm going to try and figure out a better camera angle so you guys can do a time lapse slash watch me paint. Um, so like I said, I have to paint the rest of the family um, working on the dog right now, which like when you look at it, 
kind of looks like a kid painted it right now. It's at the weird, like, I'm just getting the colors and the tones, but then I started working on some detail on the face. So right now it looks kind of silly, but um, I want to take you guys through like a time lapse so you can see it all come together. Um, basically kind of like my method. So if you guys want to try something like this in your projects, um, I painted a base coat on the MDF first. I didn't prime it. Um, this is like, it feels very smooth, like not like store-bought MDF. Um, I buy it from Agent H Creations in Florida. Um, one shout out to them because their shipping is always like top notch, super fast. They always ship like same day I ordered it. Um, so I have nothing but like great reviews for them. Um, but basically painted it all this tan color first. And then I started adding some like shadow colors, especially around like where the limbs meet, um, just to start creating some of that definition in the piece. And then I'm gonna go in with details like this um, and doing the small like hair like strokes so that um, he doesn't look like a six year old painted them. But yeah, let's go into painting mode. the next day um, I stayed up a little later and finished painting um, some of the family for that custom finished painting the floral mosaic this morning um, so that is all good so this painting probably only took me about three hours I enjoy painting on the floor which probably drives my back and Jake crazy but I just like to spread out and see the whole thing from above, so I'm painting on the floor. I have painted these flowers before, so I felt like I could get it done fairly quickly. I love the blue that this client picked for these flowers as part of her wedding sign. Hello, it is Thursday. So my week is cut kind of short this week. Again, I told you that Columbus Day happened. I worked like half a day. And then we have our last fall show Friday, Saturday this week. So I feel like I haven't got done as much as I plan. It that always happens. Like as an entrepreneur, like you just always want to get more stuff done than you can handle. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm not shocked. But um, I dropped off that lovely mosaic um, for the wedding this weekend for Bailey, so I'm so excited to see that at her wedding. Um, and she promised to send me pictures, so I'll update you guys with that. Um, haven't got to work much on the other custom. I was working on some Christmas today. When I got home, I did not feel the best, so um, just kind of did some computer work and started working on my Christmas collection. So big thing for us is like we really want as much as we can for our designs to be our own, and that inevitably, inevitably, basically that takes more time. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word. Um, it takes more time, um, one, to like design it, think of the designs, make the designs, draw the designs if I'm drawing them, put them on the computer if I'm making the laser cut files or whatever I'm making for them. So it's just a lot more steps to create something that's your own. And I think, one, that's a great talking piece if you're thinking about starting a business or especially like a laser business like you see a lot of the same designs like on Etsy and stuff like that um which I sell on Etsy so my designs on Etsy so I don't want to like bash people that shop on Etsy but like just think of ways that you can make 
those designs or files on Etsy your own um, because I see a lot of people that you know just throw things on the laser and uh, take it to a craft show and go and you know you can find about five other people that sell the same thing so um, it is what it is so as much as we can I try and make our designs unique and special and I think that shows in our work um, so that being said I've been working on Christmas it is um, the middle of October this probably should have been done like a month ago I actually looked at my calendar I had it scheduled to be done a month ago and just with customs and Halloween craziness and fall it did not get done um, or done on time so now I'm rushing but I do really want to make sure this collection is one big because Christmas is one of our biggest times of the year we have some Christmas shows even though it's the middle of winter I've never done a show in November or December and I'm doing shows in both this year which I'm really excited about um, and that's also a huge money maker for us about half of our revenue comes from shows right now so um, I just want to make sure that we are stocked and ready to go so our first holiday show is in two weeks and it's a double header. We are in two places. I'm at a shop or at a larger vendor that we, or a larger holiday market. I don't know why I said vendor. Um, it's like 75 plus vendors. We do really well there always, so I want to be fully stuck for that. And then Emily, who helps us with some marketing, shout out to Emily. Um, another Emily, I know, really confusing that we're both Emily. Um, she is going to step in and help me with a, another market that I have in the same area. Um, it's a little bit of a shorter market, never been there, so I don't really know what to expect with that, and I'm going to send her with like a lighter setup and not as many products as what I'll have, um, and then we'll meet afterwards and get dinner, and yeah, it will be a full show day double header, which means I need to make double inventory in two weeks. And I need to design them. So that's what I was working on today, just because that's going to creep up on me like way faster than I realize. But yeah, that's what I did today. Kind of boring. Computer work. It's not my favorite thing. I struggle to sit down, honestly. But it has to be done. So I did not bring my camera to the show Friday and Saturday, but I wanted to show you guys some of the Instagram stories and photos I got for the weekend. It was a great weekend with some maker friends at a local festival to me. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next video. I know I just made a video that was called L or largest Ugh, why can't I talk all right cut that's my cut because that sucked okay <laughs> Let's go to the shop. 